and Google has agreed to pay $7 million fine after an investigation found the search giant Street View vehicles had collected private information from homes and businesses. Mark New has all those details. Do some rigorous testing to make sure it can handle it's hard not to stare when you see one of those Google Street View cars with their 360-degree cameras rolling past you. But it turns out those friendly-looking vehicles were doing more than just mapping the streets. Some of them accidentally collected personal information over unsecured networks. So Google cars were moving around the U.S. and around the world uh, taking photographs of people's houses in order for the street map application to work. But alongside with these photographs, they were also collecting a lot of personal data that was unencrypted. So people's emails and other private information were uh, surreptitiously recorded and stored by Google. In a statement, Google said, we work hard to get privacy right at Google, but in this case, we didn't, which is why we quickly tighten up our systems to address the issue. The project leaders never wanted this data and didn't use it or even look at it. Google did not admit wrongdoing, but agreed to pay a $7 million fine spread across 37 states and the District of Columbia. To many, the $7 million fine for one of the most valuable companies on Earth almost seems laughable. But Linos, who teaches European law, says more importantly, the settlement could lend momentum to a legal action in the European Union, where Google faces the threat of a $700 million fine for privacy violations. It's probably not good for American lobbyists trying to argue that the Europeans are paranoid because suddenly this shows the Americans to be much more sensitive to privacy violations than we had previously believed. So um, whereas the U.S. Uh, has been lobbying that the tight EU directive standards be watered down, this pushes in the opposite direction and says, look, some action on privacy is appropriate. As part of the settlement, Google has pledged to enhance privacy training among its employees and also to launch a public campaign about the importance of securing Wi-Fi networks. So it'll be interesting to see how far Google goes in touting the merits of privacy while also pushing the bounds of privacy with its very own cutting-edge technology. Mark New, CCTV, San Francisco.